Here we go. dislocated my femur up into my groin and I'm still sat in Cape Verde. Got blood in my piss, that's good. I don't feel very well. I'm supposed to be flying out today but I haven't heard anything. And to get commonly home. Let me try and explain to you my femur problem. So on this side of my head, there's the you know, my uh, femur's in a socket where it should be. Now on this side, I have a femur right there that comes all the way up here. I can literally feel the outside. I can grab around my femur that isn't in the socket anymore. That's my femur, whereas this side, all nice and squishy, nothing there. It's like, there's a bone. Fucking awesome. So, the next time you ever complain about having hospital food in the UK, just be lucky that they actually give you some. This is my food that I was given by my parents and girlfriend yesterday. About to ration it, I've got a bread roll left, a pancake, a waffle and a few starbursts. Um, it's probably about 27 degrees outside. Uh, it's probably about 30 degrees in here because that air conditioning doesn't work and even this door open does piss all as well. Um, water, turns out that's quite a scarce thing. You, you get in the hospital here as well. 
and uh, painkillers wise they don't have morphine or anything like that they literally just have liquid tramadol which uh, of a dislocated hip that's stuck uh, well a dislocated femur that's stuck in my groin it's already done a lot it's, it's almost been 48 hours now which is like the crucial time limit for them to do surgery to like save like the nerves and possible damage to the arteries and stuff I was told I'd be on a plane at 12 o'clock uh, it's now 12.30 they've just told me that it'll be 1 o'clock so it was okay. but I'm still alive so that's cool take it easy guys thought I'd share another fun little story with you guys so 3 o'clock this morning I got woken up to wild dogs howling and scratching at this door here this door was left open because it was hot and I could see the dogs roaming around outside and they were literally howling and scratching to get in uh, when I told the nurse I was like there was a pack of dogs like out the door last night he was like ah happens all the time happens all the time nah, don't worry don't worry I want to go home <laughs> little update I'm now getting uh, ready to fly. Turns out I'm going straight to the UK, not the fucking Canary Islands, which is quite nice. Uh, it's way, 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 way too hot in here. They uh, did me the courtesy and gave me another quarter bottle of water. Um, I'm from here, there's an ambulance on the, I've made a cheeky ciggy on the stretcher, right? So I'm about to have a six hour flight back to the UK, landing in Exeter and then being transferred from Exeter to Cornwall and in this whole time I don't think I'm going to be able to contact my family whatsoever which is great because I'd, I'd like to let them know but I'm about to fly but I can't but I should be home soon um, I'll be alright so. Peace. Uh, it's a white up on it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they say. I'm on my own private jet. Very easy. Yes. In the middle of Your Cape Verde. Yeah. Have a doctor and private pilots. For a six hour flight back to the UK. Smut mm. go. Um, can't sing green songs. No, it's not good. Um, oh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> so we need to get off this plane ASAP and I'll get a new one or I'm staying in Gran Canaria, so that's cool. Another quick update. Uh, some engine failure thing happened. We landed in uh, Canary Islands, and now we're pretty much using the plane as a hotel. I uh, got nowhere to stay or go yet. Um, but yeah, uh, apparently the woman who landed the plane said this has only ever happened to her once before in 10 years of flying. So. Uh, it's not something that happens very often, but we're on the ground and we're just hanging out in the plane, which is pretty damn cool, I guess. Uh, no, but we've done an emergency landing in uh, Canary Islands because one of the engines failed. Um, we've now been sat in the 
airport with nowhere to go. I'm literally in a bed in in the plane. I don't know if you can see. Um, all the doctors here, everyone that's like the pilots and everything, are all stuck here with me. Uh, we're all just waiting. None of us have heard any word, but what we're thinking they're doing is they're trying to send out another plane to try and ship me to the UK, even though it's been over 50 hours and my leg was supposed to be operated on 48 hours ago but um, not only am I in this situation but the two pilots and the two doctors are just sat here stuck in the middle of an airport and I'm, I mean not just like anywhere I mean like there are planes landing around us we're not allowed to go anywhere Yo, my name's Simon and welcome to my second pair of this way we've got, we've got doctors and aeroplanes out this way, we've got aeroplanes and stuff constantly landing. Uh, I'm stuck here for hours now. This is my new hotel room. This is where I live now. Um, so let's just get used to it. Uh, I've, I've been strapped on my back for well over 48 hours now. I haven't been able to sit up for like over two days. Hell yeah. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my brand new hotel with uh, air conditioning because uh, the door on my private jet is open and uh, I'll catch you guys later peace 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 a cheeky quick update is I've been stuck in this board for over 7 hours and I've been stuck in this airport stuck in this board for 4 hours let alone being stuck on my back in bed for over 48 hours. So yeah. Papa peace. After 10 hours I'm fine getting my way to our hospital. Unfortunately it's not in any way. It's a brand new pair of it. But at least I'm not stuck on a plane anymore. So that's really good. Papa peace. Then the engine broke and we, we came down. No update after spending 24 hours in the Grand Canaria. They managed to fix the private jet. We're about to set off for another four hours. I'm happily sedated. And we're here we are once again on the private jet. Uh, yesterday the private jet's engine blew sat on fire and we had to uh, emergency land in Gran Canaria. I spent a night and day in Gran Canaria, but I was potentially having the operation here. But in, in the last few minutes we um, the technician got managed to get the plane working again, so we're back on the private jet and we're on our way back to the UK. And I should be having surgery as soon as we get back there. Also, they're opening up an airport just for me, so this VIP treatment's are pretty good. Yeah, Never been greeted by blue flashing lights before. Yeah. <laughs> it's a welcome. Yeah, <laughs> welcome back. Yeah, it's welcome raining. Back. It's raining. You can take off the oxygen. Yes. Moment. Yeah, it's off. It's off. I'm back in the UK. <laughs> Oh, thanks for looking after me for the past two days, guys. <laughs> thanks for looking after me the past couple of days. I really appreciate it. It's been an interesting couple of days. Interesting days, yes.